Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video I want to talk about this little module here. It's called the Node MCU. So for those of you who don't know what this is, it's quite a special chip or special module because it's a quite a fast microcontroller with Wi-Fi access. And here it is, it's something I bought from China and it arrived about a week ago. I'll see if I can get this to focus in. There we go. This is the Node MCU version 3. And it says install CH340G driver. Use 9600 bytes per second board rate and connect to Wi-Fi. So you can see it's made by someone called Lowlin. New Node MCU V3. So you can see that it's got a, a UART built into it over here. It's very easy to set up. Those of you who are working with the SP8266 Direct you should try this out. It's a lot more reliable and it's a hell of a lot easier to set up. As, you, as some of you may know, the ESP8266 is not very reliable and it can be a nightmare to set up. Well, this isn't. This is easy to set up. I had this working within a few minutes. So, if we just have a better look at this, we can. Um, we can find out what things are. So I'll just get my pen. So here's the UART. Here. So we've got the micro USB port there. We've got chip here, which is the UART, and some or look like uh, diodes or something. We've got the flash and reset pins um, as tact buttons, tact switches. But you don't actually need to use those because when you plug it in, um, it's already done for you. When you when you plug it in and try and flash it, it automatically sorts this out for you. So I think that that's a manual override or something. Same as a lot of these pins here, but we'll go through that in a second. Um, so we've got the AMS1117 3.3 volt regulator, which is already put in for you. The two capacitors, I think they're called tallium capacitors, they're already in there for you. Um, we've got the actual module already soldered in, so it's a bit more reliable. Uh, the connections are solid. There are no wires and everything's within a few centimetres of each other, or in this case millimetres of each other. So I think it may be time to give this little node MCU a go. I think I'll plug it into my laptop and see what I can do. And once again, thank you for watching. Bye!